Jay, here we are in NAMM 2012. We're uh, still here at Analog Haven. We're having a good time, and I'm standing here with Suit and Tie Guy, and he's with uh, STG Suit and Tie Guy Sound Labs. So anyway, uh, we're going to look at his new uh, Archangels. The, 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 I'm sorry. My synthesizer is STG Sound Labs. I am showing this for another company. He's showing Archangels for another company, but he's using his own modules that are created by himself at STG Labs, Sound Labs. Yeah. The, okay. The, 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 this is the detachment. <clears throat> okay. This, Go ahead and tell us about it. Okay. This is the detachment three engineering Archangel. It is a 16 by four sequencer with an integrated touch plate keyboard. It can also act as a master clock. It can send and receive both MIDI and DIN sync. It also has analog clocking. Outputs for each row of the sequencer. There's an integrated sequential switch, but 16 by two and also 16 by four. So you can set it up as a pair of 32 note sequences or one 64 note sequence. The keyboard is sensitive to both pressure and position. So you select the scale of the keyboard with this control. It is all relative to zero volts. The scales are arranged in the church modes on the left side, traditional classical modes. Phrygian, Locrian, Lydian, etc., minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor. I'm especially proud of the melodic minor scale because it, it actually calculates what the last note you played was to select between the ascending and the descending scales of the melodic minor scale. So, the modes are arranged only one scale degree apart from one another on the control so that there are no wild modulations if you decide to move the knob a little bit to one side or the other while you're playing. There are also artificial scales on the right side, like octatonic, double harmonic, whole tone, etc. The sequencer can be set up from one to 16 stages and has a clock division control right here. So, the, the vertical position is acting on the filter cutoff of the STG Sound Lab Sea Devils filter. The pressure or surface area of your finger is acting on a VCA controlling vibrato depth. So it's an extremely musical instrument when coupled with an analog modular synthesizer such as this one. You can also use the sequencer sequencer zero to five volt output analog right but you can apply a quantizer to that output and then you can apply the keyboard scale to the quantizer and when the quantizer is engaged the scale is limited to two octaves as opposed to five of the analog output sequential outputs to window the sequence. So we're just on stage one, right? Oh, sorry. Okay, so so it's going row A, row B, row B, row C, or A, B, C, D, out of the A, B, C, D output. And there are indicator LEDs over here which will be green and amber on the production model that show 
which row is active on the sequential switch outputs. Now, this isn't very exciting until you put it into keyboard address mode so you can select which stage is stage one from the keyboard. So that's stage one. Now, it doesn't just act as so, um, a bunch of four note sequences. If you move the stages control to say two stages, then it is moving row A, row B, row C, you know, in two stages. So now you've got an eight stage window of your overall master sequence. And you can make that window as wide as you'd like, all the way up to 16 stages, right? Now, okay, so now the other nice thing about this uh, is that it has a tempo LED that always shows you what the tempo is, whether it is the slave or the master. You can control the behavior of the directional behavior of the sequencer here at the direction control. Now we're in reverse. This is the first pendulum mode, Alt-1. <clears throat> this is Alt-2. And now this is, with all the LEDs off, no direction or random. The Archangel is controlling not just a... Uh, we have the filter here. That's the filter cutoff, right? Um, so I have a sine wave from the uh, audio frequency generator going into the wave folder. The wave folder is a very fancy distortion, a distortion in the traditional sense that it actually distorts the wave, not clips it. It's kind of folds it over on itself through a diode network. Okay, so let me let me ask you a quick question here. Um, this piece right here, is it available? Uh, it'll be available soon. It's ready to be manufactured. Okay, so ready for manufacture. We've been developing it for two years. Okay. We've gone through three hardware revisions, and now we have worked all of the all of the bugs out. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for showing. Thank you very us. much. I appreciate it. Suit and tie guy, <laughs> NAMP 2012.